So I'm David Barkwell, uh, I'm an ST1 ACCS EM trainee in Southampton. So Richard, I was recommended by a few friends um, and then I had a, a meeting with my supervisor before signing up to the Kent Primary and they'd done some um, previous courses with uh, Bromley Emergency Medicine before and said they were fantastic so um, that's why I originally signed up. Yeah, so um, when I signed up it was all done online, the course. Um, and I thought it was fantastic. So we went through, I think, four or five different papers. Um, we did some of them before and some of them during the day and then went over the questions. Um, what I found fantastic is um, the doctor leading the course went through each question and summarised concepts that are quite complex in a really simple manner. Um, so I actually used the recording of that and went back over that um, over the following weeks as my revision. Following on from that, we received an email um, which gave us access to the videos on Bromley Emergency Medicine and it was the same doctor that was doing the uh, summarising of the concepts. They were all laid out in clear modules that were related directly to the syllabus of the exam um, and summarised it perfectly so there was the exact amount of information you needed and you knew that you weren't doing learning uh, topics that might not come up. Um, so then after that I changed my revision just to go through each of the modules one by one and go back over them. Um, and I found that, for me, was by far the best thing that I could have done for my, my revision. What I quite like is using one resource and then knowing that you're covering everything in its entirety. If you chop and change, there's benefits to that sometimes, but you might be making gaps in your knowledge. Whilst I, once I realised that I, I liked uh, the emergency medicine videos for the MRKM primary online, I could then work through um, systematically each one, making notes and then going back and knowing that if I completed all of that information, then in theory, there shouldn't be any gaps in my knowledge. I think having a, having a strict timetable uh, for revision is really useful because it's such a broad syllabus, um, you can end up going into a lot of depth into one topic and then, re and then sacrifice, having to sacrifice others because of time. So being strict that you only give yourself an allocated amount of time, obviously have some flexibility within that, but then moving on. Um, for me as well, as I said, using the uh, emergency medicine videos that were on the website, I'm using just one resource or mainly one resource um, then you know that you're covering the whole syllabus and I suppose if, if there were bits and bobs you wanted to deviate from to go into more detail that was helpful but for me having a clear timetable and I would know right I need to by the end of the week don't go on through these videos and make notes in these videos and then give myself some time to go back over topics I didn't understand um, that's probably what I would say 100% um, yeah I, the course and the videos were the best um, resources that I used during my revision so um, I, I've recommended it to a lot of people already um, and I will yeah, continue to do so.